what's this? Survive then, have you? Jolly good. Jolly good. Rotten luck. They arrived in Cold Harbor, but in entirely different locations. Bloody unpredictable. Portals to oblivion. Not to mention Molog Ball's defenses. Nasty beasties abound. Off you go. Over the bridge and head inland. There's a good chap. Welcome back to Cold Harbor, old chum. Jolly good to see you. I was afraid you'd stuffed it. What bridge? Is there a bridge? Tricky things, bridges. Tend to have all kinds of hideous creatures living beneath them. Except that one over there. That one leads to the Hollow City. Dreadfully dull place, and a real eyesore, if you ask me. But I suppose it's where you want to start your quest. Quest! What a simply fabulous word. Quest. Quest. Quest! I just love how it rolls off the tongue. Welcome back to Cold Harbor, old chum. Jolly good to see you. I'm so welcome to the... I have the honest feeling we just... Very few would dare to enter the Prince of Murder's realm of their own choosing. Your action consists of equal parts bravery and stupidity. I think in this case, that's exactly what we need. You may refer to me as the groundskeeper, one of the few survivors that remain. I tend to this city. The magic that protects these walls and keeps us safe requires constant nurturing and the utmost care. The city's original name no longer matters. Now it is a hollow city, waiting to be filled. A perfect place to begin an assault on Molag Bal. This city can be your armor against the hazards of Cold Harbor. It just needs life to return it to glory. It could be. There is no safer place in Cold Harbor, for Molag Baal's reach cannot extend into the Hollow City. That is what was intended, and that is the way it is. Please walk with me. Let me show you why this city will serve your needs, as you wish. Know that great magic protects this city keeping it from Molag Ball's reach. The city can serve as a safe haven for you and your companions. Once you find them, that is. Look around. Do you see the vicious creatures of this realm walking these streets? Do you feel cold blue stone beneath your feet? No? I didn't think so. I am currently your only ally in this dread plane. I am your advisor. We both wish to stop Molag Ball's machinations. I offer you what help I can. The Hollow City awaits you and your allies. Use it wisely, and it shall not fail you. You must gather those who were lost. King Dinar and Vanus Galarian have vital roles to play, and they must be at your side. Rescue your missing companions. Return the Hollow City to its former glory, and we can begin the assault on Molag Ball. 
You shall require more than just the king and the mage, of course. But they are as good a starting point as any. Others in this realm, allies current and soon to be, all have important parts to play in this endeavor. As you seek out the mage and the king, I'm sure you shall meet others who require your aid. Look for those you trust and who would be willing to join us here. Go west, beyond the moonless walk. There you shall find the Aeliot King, held within a tower of darkness. Vanus the Mage is somewhere in the Eastern Plain. His exact location is hidden from me. I recommend heading west first to find the Aeliot King, but the choice is yours. If you wish to free King Dinar, you must recover the lights of Meridia. The lights have the power to unlock his prison of darkness. Oh, I can do this. I really can. All I have to do is... Oh, who am I kidding? I can't do this. There is no way. Why did I ever think I could make it in the Fighters Guild? I'm trying to figure out my next move. I'm with the Fighters Guild. We were attacked by Daedra. They captured my companions, took them into that prison down there. I'm just a scout. I can't fight Daedra, but I bet you could. There was a portal. The Daedra used it, but it disappeared. Near as I can figure, the only way in now is to jump down into the water. If you're brave enough to take the leap, look for Scordo. Big orc fellow. He always knows what to do. What I wouldn't do to be in a nice, safe place. A tavern somewhere, maybe. Warm, pint of ale, some good company. Instead, I'm in Cold Harbor. If Morlock Baal's minions don't kill me, Scordo surely will. Did you really just leap down into this slime pit? You're either remarkably brave or really stupid. I guess a little of both. Of course he did, the skinny weakling. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be in this mess. A Dramora mage runs the place. Clouds minds, breaks wills. I can't get my soldiers organized. Now the fat bastard Ogrims dragged away my friends. We joined the guild together. It ain't right them getting tortured by Ogrims. You rescue Sinfrey, Borgath, and Vicord. I'll find Overseer or Ruz, and then you and me can deal with him permanently. Ah, a new guest has joined our little party. And will you provide amusement and interesting diversion? I think you just might at that. It speaks. I suppose I should be impressed that one of your kind even dares to approach me. Oh, little mortal, you amuse me so. Surely you have more important things to do than waste time with me. Aren't there rocks that need to be chipped or bugs to be swatted? Perhaps you need to mutter to yourself and wander around in circles. Most of the guests here suffer from one or more such afflictions. If you linger long enough, perhaps you will adopt one of these distinctive quirks. Or perhaps not. I will continue to watch with interest to see what develops. Pity. To think they'd miss out on this fascinating conversation.
Skordo set up a rendezvous point in the north part of the pit. I'll see you there. sent you, didn't he? Thank tall Papa. Let me just grab a weapon before I go to meet Scordo at the rendezvous. Maybe I'll take out an arm or two on my way. safe? Damn. Orgath was a good soldier and a good friend. Thanks for helping the others, though. I've been watching for Overseer Oruz, but he hasn't come out of his chambers yet. We need to get his key. The key opens the passage to the next level. That's where they took Captain Eilrom and Captain Arak. There's a way out of this over a dump pit. It's up there. Once you get the key, you need to head upstairs and find Captain Eilrom. Chest over there. I'll go back and check on the others. Meet me by the passage door. Curious creature. You don't really expect me to answer that, do you, little mortal? Needless to say, it amuses me to bide my time here and observe your plight. No need to concern yourself about my safety, though, for the lesser Daedra will not harm me. <laughs> oh, yes! Watching them has been very entertaining. They struggle in a web they cannot see, and it makes me laugh. You mortals. So easy to manipulate, and so much fun to play with. No, little mortal, I am neither your jailer nor your tormentor. 
I am merely a disinterested observer who finds some tiny enjoyment in your predicament. Even if I cared to explain myself to you, I doubt that you would understand. The politics of oblivion are much too convoluted for your primitive mortal mind to comprehend. I will not hinder you, dear mortal. Consider that to be help enough for now. Know this, however. The exit from this place is currently unavailable. I suspect you will rectify that in the very near future. There are spies everywhere, and assassins. Scordo, he could be one of Orok's assassins. He could be one of her spies. Never trust an orc, or a spy. Blessed Lekker, I just don't know who or what to believe anymore. This place is getting to me. All of us. That's what any competent spy would say. It wouldn't hurt to prove you're not an illusion, or a spy. Tell you what, my sword is back there with the Ogrims that attacked us. You get my sword for me and we'll talk. Meet me near Aurok's camp. an illusion after all. Scordo also vouched for your existence. He doesn't vouch for anything, so you must have really impressed him. I almost expected you to stab me with it, not hand it to me. Hard to trust anything in this place. But as you can see, we have a situation developing here. Arak can barely refrain from attacking us. We need to fix this now. Arak says she can't stop the voices without her helmet. She said the eyes have it. I think she means the Watchers. Maybe the helmet will calm her down. Thank you for doing this. Sinfei wanted to retrieve it herself. But to be honest, we're not at our best right now. None of us could survive a battle with a Watcher.
Take those rocks. Take those ditches. Because I want you to! This place... It does strange things to your mind. How do I know you aren't just a distraction so Ilrem can slip behind me and stab me in the back? Wait, this is my help. So confused. But Ilrem did kill my friend Ifriz. You killed Ifriz, Ilrem? What else could there possibly be left to talk about? Get a hold of yourself, Arak. Ifriz isn't one of ours. He's the bastard that runs this place. You're being manipulated. Here's our roster. You won't find Ifriz on it. Let me see that. I'm sure I knew him. Didn't I? We need to figure a way to get out of this Tower of Lies. Who's that? Is that a Dramora? I grow weary of this situation. It's time to put an end to Ifriz's interference. You need to kill Ifriz. I need him dead. It seems we have a common goal to discuss. Help from a Dramora? Why doesn't that reassure me? We share a common problem, little mortal. It only makes sense that we work together to solve it. Do either of us have any other options? Ifriz created the barrier that blocks the way out of this prison. Eliminate Ifriz and the barrier collapses. But you must find Ifriz if you are going to kill him. How sweet of you to ask. Ifriz hides behind illusions. I have removed them. He has something of mine. I want it back. Kill him and both our problems are solved. But hurry. He will soon discover his defenses are down and hide himself again. Ah, little mortal. I have already provided more help than you deserve. The rest, as they say, is up to you. I feel so much better. That unbearable cloud of fear and confusion has finally lifted. I assume that this is your doing? I figured. We started sending people through the portal as soon as the barrier collapsed. There's a city nearby. 
We saw it before we were captured. We're going to try to regroup there. Just making sure the stragglers get to the portal. By the way, you impress Scordo, which isn't an easy thing to do. Find him on the other side. He wants to talk to you. Take a look at the crystal we discovered. Iorom thinks it may be one of the lights of Meridia the Mage's Guild told us about. If it is, it could be invaluable to our efforts here. Just get out of that terrible place. I won't forget that. You could have just taken care of your own business in there and left us to our fate. But you didn't. I owe you. If that strange city over there has a tavern, the first drink's on me. And... thanks. Scordo, you're free. By Ifri, you don't know how we really live. I am to see you. If you had half a brain in your head, you'd run and hide. I'm really sorry, Scordo. I didn't mean to cause so much trouble. You led an army of Daedra right toward us. You ignorant, scatterbrained, sorry excuse for a wood elf weakling. I'll never do anything like that again. I promise. Thanks again for your help. Now, excuse me while I go find that good-for-nothing wood elf and introduce his backside to my very large boot. You're alive! That's wonderful! Can we talk? You're a real live person, aren't you? I thought I was all alone out here. I bet you came from that city over there. Could you help me, please? I'm a projection, silly. My brother and I are part of the Mages Guild expedition. Well, freelancers, really. We got separated from the others as soon as we arrived in Cold Harbor. But we're not slacking off. We're investigating this old library. We drew straws and I wound up on watch duty. But when I saw Daedra seal the entrance, I found another way inside. To rescue my brother, you know. But now I'm trapped too. There's a lot of magical projection stuff in here. That's how I'm talking to you. The Major Guild gathered a team of the best dungeon delvers from across the three alliances. Members of the Undaunted, just in case they ran into any ruins or relics. My brother went into the old library with a couple of other treasure hunters. I'd much rather speak. The Mages. You got it. Look, my brother's the expert, but I think the Daedra are using the projection lenses to spy on the people trapped in the library. As long as the lenses are active, the doors won't open. I'm thinking sabotage is in order. That's my thought. I'll provide whatever help I can from in here. I can tell you this. One of the other scholars, she called this place the Library of Dusk. Couldn't wait to start exploring. Please hurry. Whatever the Daedra want, it can't be good.
this working? Can you see me? I'll try to show you what's going on inside the library while you smash those lenses. Here goes. Did you see that? I'll make some adjustments while you search for the next lens. It's working. I switched the widgets with the gadgets and that seemed to do the trick. Now let's see if I can get a view into the other part of the library. That was unexpected. I must be doing something wrong. I'll give it one more try while you hunt down the last lens. the proper adjustments. Now, let's see if I can spot my brother. Lady Laurent, we need to get out of here. This place is a trap. Young Raynor has already been caught in his spell. Oh, Talinger, let's just stay here, you and I, forever. No, the glamour has taken you as well. Come, my dear. Let us find a quiet corner among all these beautiful books. She's lost. Damn! I need to escape before I also succumb to the spell. I'll leave them a note in case the effects were off. Spell? Why haven't I been affected? Wait. I just heard the door unlock. It should be safe now. Come meet me in the gallery at the top of the ruins.
Raynor! Raynor! He can't hear me! Why can't he hear me? Raynor! I can see Raynor through this observation window, but he can't hear me. It must be the spell. And I bet the spell didn't affect me because I'm not attuned to whatever catalyst controls the Magicka Matrix. You know, the spell web. A pretty elegant trap, really. I think the spell's catalyst has something to do with an interest in knowledge. I'd be insulted, but what can I say? I'm in this for adventure, not scholarly pursuits. And thanks, by the way. The spell seems to be a combination of glamours and illusions. It snared my brother and the other scholarly types. Anyway, we can't leave them like that. We have to snap them out of it. I always have a plan. It requires you to get down there and talk some sense into them. I'll make sure that Daedra don't lock us in here again. Just find me if Raynor gives you any trouble. And be careful. Illusion magic can be tricky. Sure, but there may be other spells active down there. Take a look at the observation windows and remember the details of each holding cell. The Daedra must be keeping those notes for some reason. And I believe in always being prepared. <laughs> am I all right? Oh, I am perfect. But I am not who you seek. You won't release them from our spell. They belong to us now. But you... You shall simply die. <laughs> Does my state of being matter to an insignificant torch bug like you? You enter our library and seek to take what is ours. For that, you shall most assuredly die. <laughs>
sorry. This book is so engrossing. Could we talk later? I said I'm reading. Go bother someone with an intellect closer to your own level. I'm sure Lady Clarice and that Ultima Artificer would be happy to listen to your inane ramblings. I don't know what... Wait. You're right. This place radiates Daedric magic. I can feel it in the back of my skull. We need to free the others. Find Lady Clarice. I remember, she realized something important before we were drawn into the spell. I think so. I can still feel the spell tugging at my mind, though. Just in case, Kirith and I are going to our camp outside of the ruins. But I'm worried about the others. Since the spell doesn't seem to affect you, can you look for Lady Laurent? Lady Laurent, Tellinger, and I decided to take advantage of our good fortune and explore this old library. The possible gain in knowledge far outweighed any risk involved. But as soon as we stepped inside, the spell started to take hold. Thanks. Kirith and I will head for our camp outside the ruins. Meet us there after you find Lady Laurent and the Artificer. sent you? Why? I just found the most fascinating... Wait, where am I? I see. I suppose I should ask whether or not you're part of this elaborate trap, but I sense that you're not an illusion. I can feel the spell, however, crawling back, trying to slip into my mind. What an odd sensation. Hmm. I remember that we discovered something or another, but the details elude me. Perhaps if I had more time to recover from the effects of the spell... Oh, wait a moment. Uh, Tellinger said something important just before I became engrossed in this relic. I wouldn't know exactly, but I'm sure Tellinger's around here somewhere. He's really quite clever and dashing to boot. <laughs> he reminds me of my... my good friend Stibbins. Well, let me see. We decided to take a look around this old library. I was sure there had to be a treasure or two to make it worth our while. Young Raynor became ensorcelled almost immediately and ran off. After that, things kind of get fuzzy. Thank you. I'm going to get out of here. I need to find someone. I'm rather busy right now. Come back later. No, not even a little. You won't find your artificer, and you'll never leave her alive!
I take it that you are the one who read my note? The spells I placed upon it alerted me that non-Daedra eyes examined the writing. I do hope that you are a member of the Force from Tamriel. If so, I have something to show you. This vault contains a portal, and the power emanating from it is overwhelming. Something on the other side seeks to pierce the veil of illusion that hangs over this ruined library. Hmm, that's inconsequential. Whatever it is, it may serve a purpose in our battle against the Lord of Cold Harbor. If we can acquire it, then this excursion will not have been a complete waste of time. Hmm, I have my suspicions, but I hate to speculate. If you must know, I think it might be one of the fabled lights of Meridia. The sources of power she used to hurl the hollow city into Cold Harbor. Come in and we shall investigate further. Enter the portal and find the source of the power I sense emanating from the other side. Because I don't completely trust myself, while I have avoided the illusions that trap the others, I can still feel the pull of the Daedric spell. Find the power source and meet me at our camp outside the ruins, and take this token, just in case. Once you go through the portal, the token will attune itself to the access point. If you get lost, use the token and it will return you to the portal. What was once a curiosity that won me fortune and acclaim is now a vital tool in our mission. Lights of Meridia can free me from Molag Baal's bondage. Find them and bring them to me. Know that you may jump from here and rejoin your friends below. What power I still possess shall keep you safe. Welcome back, my friend. Did you find it? Was I right? Was the source of power I sensed one of the fabled lights of Meridia? By the eight, the crystal! It is a light of Meridia. It is said that these orbs of power once allowed Meridia to transport an entire city into Cold Harbor. If an agent of Meridia harnesses this power force, we shall gain a distinct advantage. With Meridia's light, we can turn the tide of this campaign. Kirith said you came from the Hollow City. We shall go there once everyone has had a chance to rest. Thank you for your help. You know, you remind me of the stories. Once inside the Hollow City, we'll begin helping with the war effort. We must test the lights of Meridia and investigate methods for destroying Molag Ball's plane meld mechanism. There is always research to do in campaigns such as this.
These swords, they must be a clue. Now where did those fools run off to? hairy feet. You outsiders just keep showing up. You and everyone else in this forest, it seems. My clan has already declared your allies to be trespassers. You don't want to know what we do to trespassers. The Shadow Walkers will catch them. They always do. Does a fuzzy newt goat have seven toes? Don't look at me like that. It's a perfectly appropriate analogy. Anyway, I hope I reach them before the hunters do. Otherwise, your allies don't stand a chance. Because I'm tired of seeing people get hurt. Ugh. Things need to change around here. We've already spent way too much time talking about fuzzy newt goats. I really need to get moving. Have you noticed the swords left near these campfires? I think your companions are trying to tell us something. I'm going to keep looking for them. If I can reach them before the hunters, they might just get out of this forest alive. Keep your eyes open and your weapon ready. The shadows here are not your friend. for entering the moonless walk. You need to be alive. You have to be. I need you to help. I... I didn't do it. I swear. He was like this when I found him. This poor soldier. He didn't have to die. At least the Khajiit got away. How long can he manage to survive, though? I don't know. My clan can be very persistent. There might still be a way to save the other soldier, the Khajiit. But you need to trust me. I won't oppose my clan directly. They're my family. But I can help you find your friend. I just want to make sure no one else gets hurt. The Shadow Walkers use runners to search the forest, but you'll never see them. They become one with the shadows, all but invisible when the clan is on high alert. There is a way to see the runners, though. You need to collect the bark of a Spriggan. The bark's magic allows the creatures to... How should I put this? Feel their way through the dark woods. Infuse the bark with the wisps of light, and you should be able to spot the runners. Just scrape a bit off the top end. There. An old trick I learned living so long in this dreadful place. My friends thought it was funny to hide from me, so I'd use this to see them. It also has an interesting side effect. While it allows you to see anyone hiding in the Shadow Realm, it also masks your presence from them. I've used this method to avoid patrols and sneak out of the forest. It really works. But remember, the effect is temporary. It doesn't last long. 
Touch the bark to a wisp of light, and then cross the bridge. The runners are searching for the remaining soldier. When you spot a runner, follow him. He should lead you right to your friend. And if the effect runs out, just touch another wisp. <laughs> 